I believe that if we have to, we will ultimately make a success of a no deal. But this paper... But, but this... But this paper provides an honest assessment of the very serious challenges it would bring in the short term and further reinforces why the best way for this House to honour the referendum result is to leave with a deal. As I committed to the House, the Government will today table an amendable motion for debate tomorrow. But I know members across the House are genuinely worried that time is running out, that if the Government... That if the gov- that if the Government doesn't come back with a further meaningful vote, or it loses that vote, Parliament won't have time to make its voice heard on the next steps. I know too that members across the House are deeply concerned by the effect of the current uncertainty on businesses. So today I want to reassure the House by making three further commitments. First, we will hold a second meaningful vote by Tuesday the 12th of March at the latest. Second, If the Government has not won a meaningful vote by Tuesday the 12th of March, then it will, in addition to its obligations, to table a neutral, amendable motion under Section 13 of the EU Withdrawal Act, table a motion to be voted on by Wednesday the 13th of March at the latest, asking this House if it supports leaving the EU without a withdrawal agreement and a framework for a future relationship on the 29th of March. So the United Kingdom will only leave without a deal on the 29th of March if there is explicit consent in the House for that outcome. Third, third, if the House, having rejected leaving with the deal negotiated with the EU, then rejects leaving on the 29th of March without a withdrawal agreement and future framework, the Government will, on the 14th of March, bring forward a motion on whether Parliament wants to seek a short, limited extension to Article 50, and if the House votes for an extension, seek to agree that extension approved by the House with the EU, and bring forward the necessary legislation to change the exit date commensurate with that extension. These commitments all fit the timescale set out in the Private Members' Bill in the name of the Right Honourable Member for Normanton, Pontefract and Castleford. They are commitments I am making as Prime Minister, and I will stick by them as I have previous commitments. <laughs>